I bought for all of us! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> back up so I can see you. Chris is here. Carissa Acres is here. We can now stop playing that ridiculous intro. I love that intro. I love Carissa. Carissa. Hey, Lester, I'm here. <laughs> party is started. The party. Yes, we're good to go now. Carissa, I'm glad you have joined us. I will say something. You don't even know about this, but uh, that intro right there, which I love, has got me into more trouble with a, with a, okay, so. If you watch it and if you're the kind of person who can remember everything that you see, I did accidentally include a couple of the same pictures more than once. Did you notice that while you were watching it just now? No. But there are some folks that notice everything. I noticed that there was a little spoon and a big spoon in one of the pictures, and it might be my new favorite picture. What I was going to say is I feel horrible because there's a couple of folks who... I never got their picture in time to include in that little presentation or the actual video that I made. And I've not heard the last of that yet. I guys, I have no reason not to include, I would have included every photograph that I received, but uh, I did not mean to include anybody more than once. I'm not playing favorites here by putting the same photograph more than once. Hey, I didn't even make it to that video. <laughs> well, you need to get you a Longhorn Lester shirt oh. and we'll see what happens. And I didn't mean to leave anybody out. I can promise y'all, y'all have my word on that. But, if you um, email us pictures of you and your merch, we'll be happy to put you into the video. Let's just go ahead and say that right now at the beginning of our live. If you are not in our 
uh, our slideshow, our photo story, you call it, then send us those yeah. pictures and I will include those because I can go back. I have the original and I just add them, add them. Yeah. Easy enough. I am not taking out the people that I included twice, though. Because you, you don't know which ones they are. <laughs> I don't know. Who, I don't know who I included twice. And I'm not going to go over there and write down each one. Man with Longhorn Lester shirt. Lady with two spoons. You got you to introduce us. You, didn't, you like skipped into it. Folks, Lester and Jane. You you like that. You it's like my, that. It's my favorite thing. The hat tip. I'll you don't want to know why. Hold on. It's because you say, hey, folks. Do it. Do it the right way. So you're making fun of me then? No, I'm not making fun of you. Do it. Do you it the need right something way. to make fun of me over. I'm not making fun of you. Do it appropriately. Hey, folks. Lester here. It's because when this translates it, it says, hey. F-U <laughs> word. Yes. The AIs <laughs> have not. They Whoever programmed AIs did not include the Texas versions of the deep southern drawl. That's so what they call hey, it. <laughs> it doesn't say, hey, folks, on the closed caption. It doesn't say, hey, folks. It so probably I, says something else. Can you say it one more time? Yeah. Hey, folks. Yeah, if I <laughs> if I try to stress it, I think I, I'm better. I did not choose this little sparkly. Um, it was the one that had the match. It had a straw to match and everything else. And I, I did not I'm choose that little sparkly. little tiny baby coat. I hero. know. Anywho's, uh, yeah. So seriously, though, if anybody has watched that entire i think it's about a six minute intro video please do send us your merch pictures yeah i don't care if, it, if it's last year's merch it could be those little stringy things that jamie had that one time her suits to boost a little string what do you call those things you little tank tops yeah yeah you got no tank top pictures in there we need some tank tops ladies some tank tops uh, and those we didn't do those as pastime, did we? No, it was a winter sale. It was a winter sale. Yeah, we didn't do the summer because we were doing the fire department fundraiser, so we didn't do a yeah our, our quarterly sales that we normally do. Anywho, it's I'm nice to see on, you all. I'm, Go ahead. I'm working on another way for merch, but it's not ready yet. I tried. To, there I were just, people asking. Sorry. I just caught myself trying to do a facial gesture like you do. I have y'all ever noticed that some people can rub off on you and what they do, that seems very natural. <laughs> See, you're just doing it. But when I go, it doesn't look the same on me as it does on you. If that was a little excessive. You got to settle it down, <laughs> tone it back because your like, whole body just went into it. Like, like that, like, <laughs> like I was saying, some people can do things very naturally and you end up, catching that vibe and you want to, you want to, you want that to become you. And however, when I try to become you and I go, <laughs> I look to be demon possessed is what's wrong. And I'm like contortioning and all kinds of, you think my head's going to start spinning. I'm start vomiting green stuff, project all in green all across the room. And then I'm going up to the roof <laughs> and start crawling across the ceiling. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start sweating. If I'm not careful. Oh, Lord, why is the door closed? Why? How come the door's not open? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We <sighs> are trying so hard not to use the air one day and then the heat the next and then the air one day, then the heat the next. And we're and on that path right now. The heck? It's the demons. It's the demons getting after me. Uh, that's what has happened here yeah. is that we've reached a part of the year. And I don't know if all states go through this or all countries go through this. We're in but, bipolar season. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Listen, this morning it was cold and we were both bundled up. We camped out over at the JL. We were I put on my little fuzzy warm stuff. The fuzzy stuff always feels warmer to me. I don't need layers. I need one thick and fuzzy something and I'm good. And so I fuzzied up this morning and made it home here. And at some point, I'm like, oh, I need to take this fuzzy thing off and put on a T-shirt. And then at some point, I'm over here on the couch waiting for the live to start, and I'm hot. And uh, I'm like, how crazy is this? That this morning, I wanted to turn the air, the heat on, and now I want to turn the air on, but I don't want to. But if you I go outside like right now, you can feel there is a cold front coming in, and it's bringing storms like crazy. We're under tornado watches, and like it's a, it's a wild ride right now, spring storms are here well i find out that it's not just texas the same way in a lot of other states right now they're going through 
just this weather's trying to figure out are we going to be spring yeah. are we going to go ahead and stay fall a while longer did the groundhog see himself this year i don't even know uh, or is it just going to be straight out summer because it has been 80 plus degrees a few times here it's been hot and i'm like oh lord jamie just yesterday tell me what the guy told tell everybody what the guy told you at the plant store oh well, he was just talking about that not there's, ready for summer. There's so many people who are coming and like, oh, I'm so ready for summer. I'm so ready for summer. And he was like, I am not ready for summer. I spent every day out in it working and digging last year. And the digging was like chipping away at concrete with a teaspoon. And he's like, it, he goes, I don't know that I could live another another summer here in Texas working out in that heat. He's like, do not wish it upon us. And and it's true. Like last year was so, so brutal. And to add to that, we had no rain at all. And so I think that that kind of added to it. It made it seem hotter maybe because it didn't rain for 128 days. Just, everything was Check great. out what Steph says, a mama bear, 75 here in Colorado yesterday. Okay. Seems like a nice temperature, 75. Mm -hmm. I can do that. However, it's snowing today and tomorrow. And it doesn't snow in 75 degree temperatures, I don't think. Man. Uh, what a tease. I know, right? 75 and then, eh, just kidding, some snow. <laughs> That's hey, hard. Everybody do me a favor right quick. A quick favor because Jamie and I have gone back and forth on this one little topic. And I think that we can squash it all right now. Do us a favor and tell us what actual channel you're watching the live on now don't say facebook or youtube because we, we can see that ourselves we don't know though if you're watching from i'm a survivor sanctuary facebook or i'm a survivor sanctuary youtube I'm longhorn suits lester boots suits to boots facebook or youtube if you don't mind tell us what platform and what channel and i know that jamie says don't talk about it i'm not supposed to talk about it but we're having so many. Oh my god! Oh boy! Look at here. She just got me. She just got me good. She's like a like a black widow. She latched into me, and that means hush it up, Lester. Just hush it up. Okay, I will hush it up. Sanctuary Sunday is for all the things that we're grateful for. for yes. Making people laugh and for bringing some happiness. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that. <laughs> Thank anyway. you all for being here tonight and yeah. joining us probably for the second time. You probably have met your quota of Lester and Jamie today. I'm sure of it. Between our live this morning and all the shenanigans that have been going on around here, you're probably like, oh, my gosh, I'm I'm going to tune in for a little bit to make sure I'm not going to miss any major updates. And then I'm going to bed. Well, it's not time for bed yet, actually. Um I, Actually, some people that are here should, should be in bed because they're from the UK. I recognize a few names here from people who are overseas where it's midnight or even later, one o'clock. Jamie, it's one o'clock in the morning in the UK. And these folks are still got toothpicks on their eyes trying to see what Lester and Jamie are going to be up to. Well, I feel horrible for you guys, but we do have a game Jamie brought. I don't know what it is. I've never played. It but was one something. that I got for Lex for Christmas that I found when I was cleaning out the RV. And it is, how well do you know America? And I thought it would be appropriate because some of the questions could be about your state. And you probably are going to teach us a thing or two. The thing is, how are we going to ever be able to read the comments? Uh, or is that going to be cheating? Because if you, ask, ask, if you, you ask me a question and I don't know it, what if I just kind of peek at the comments, try to get the answer? You can't do that. No cheating. I'm not going to cheat. I, and I, I would be curious, but I do think that I know the states better than you. Okay, there's your stack. Now, I am, a, I am a few years older than her. So, all right. So, I'm not going to cheat here. I'm just going to pull one off the top okay. and ask you the question, okay? All right. All right. The hook shaped peninsula in the state of massachusetts is better known by what name the hook shaped peninsula in the state of massachusetts is better known by what name i don't know but isn't it in isn't it in the boston harbor look at here i oh my god i see it cape cod it is cape cod 
And I didn't know that you guys are good. I didn't know that either. So I would not have known. I'm going to put it back on top on, on the bottom of the stack. It'll be on the bottom. All right. Oh boy. So Jamie has zero. My turn. Yeah. Oh, wait, like here's stars. Okay. So like when you win, you get a star. Oh, but I didn't get a star. No, you did not get a star. Okay. We're going to keep our stars. I promise. I am not going Do to not cheat. Be cheating. I'm not going to look because They're going to keep track. Okay. I'm looking at you. In which state would you be visiting? If you were visiting the birthplace and tomb of Martin Luther King Jr. I want to say Alabama. I want to say Alabama, like Tuscaloosa took. Uh, I want to say Alabama, Jamie. Oh, my gosh. Martin Luther King Jr. The birthplace. Okay. So, and tomb. So it's either Mississippi or Alabama. Is, am I, is, is it one of those? No. Well. No star. <laughs> it is Georgia. <laughs> Dang actually, it. I would have never got that. It's Georgia. See, we're going to get an education Dang. tonight. Look at all the Alabamas on there, though, Jamie. There's a I lot know, of Alabamas so on there. Too. Boy, it is Georgia. Well, I don't have a star. Neither, neither do, you. do I. Keep going. All this right, is a fun going. educational night. So, if you guys have two, we have zero. <laughs> uh, the stars are all going to y'all. We're going to prep you all for the next trivia night. Look at all the friends. Alabamas, though, Jamie. A lot of people are still on the Alabama thing. They're a few minutes behind. Wow. I had no idea. I didn't either. What was it again? Georgia. It was Georgia. 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 But um, let me ask you this. Through. Don't you think that, still on the same topic, don't you think that a lot of his work was highlighted? I'll just say highlighted in the Alabama. I don't know that answer. Like, I actually thought it was Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, that keeps coming. Man, I'm so sorry, friends. I had no idea. I do now, though. I do now. Here we go. Number two for, for Jamie. Jamie's number two. Um, in which Michigan city can you find the Motown Museum home of Hitsville, USA? In which I wish Michigan there was city choice. can you find the Motown Museum? I'm going to say Detroit. You're going to say Detroit? My friends, Jamie got one right. The answer is Detroit. She got her Give me that star. star. All right. This is how the stars look. Those are star. And Jamie got herself a star. You got one. Dang it, Jamie. You're beating me now. That's right. <laughs> yeah, like a kindergartner. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. I got one. All right, you ready? Yes. Popular with divers, an underwater statue of which person can be found off the coast of Key Largo in the Florida Keys? There's an underwater statue of which person? Yeah. In, off the coast of Key Largo in the Florida Keys. Okay, if it's a statue that divers can see, yeah. That has to be ancient, yes. Boy, it's not like modern day. It's not like George Washington. In the, I don't know when it got there. Come on, man. So is, is, it, is it like a Greek or something? Wait, Florida? Florida Keys. How would there be a statue in the water in the Florida Keys? I don't know, but don't look because people, oh, are people are saying right. it? Yeah. Okay, could it be like some kind of Greek god or something like Apollo or the you know, Zeus? No, what? Jesus Christ. Jesus? I didn't know that. Jesus Christ is in a statue underwater. Jesus Christ. And divers can go see it? That reminds Off me of Florida Black Keys. Jesus. We are going to go see Black Jesus one of these days. Y'all don't even know about that yet, do they? Y'all don't know about Black Jesus yet. Okay, no star for me, dang I it. had no idea, though. Give me my glasses. Sorry, y'all. Here we go. Do you want another pair no. of choice from the box of <laughs> I got a whole bunch glasses? of choice from. Yeah, give me a black pair. Um, <laughs> Here we go. Battle Creek, Michigan is known as the serial capital of the world because it is the home to which famous company? This is too it easy. It has to be Kellogg's. Yes, it's Kellogg's. Give me one of those stars. Man, Jamie got two. Oh, man. People are going to see people me knew lose. It. Guys, oh, no. I have. It's going to be hard to catch up. That's two to nothing for the record. I think people know your score. Lordy. 
Which state produces more peaches than Georgia? I can only hope that it's Florida. Which state produces more peaches than Florida? Uh, Georgia? Georgia is known as a peach state. Yeah. So and there's a state that produces more? Yeah. And it's not Florida. No, Florida's oranges. Well, I'll let you guess again. Guess again. Okay. Is it close to Georgia? Yeah. Is it Alabama? <laughs> I'm Alabama's gonna get something to know. Alabama gonna... is not the answer. <laughs> what state? South Carolina. South Carolina. Look at everyone saying Alabama. There's a lot of okay. See, I'm not according alone. to this game in South Carolina. My here's my concern. What if those cards <laughs> are in levels of difficulty and you are I show you gave me the easy ones uh -huh. for you to answer, and I got the hardest ones. Kellogg's was easy, but the other one wasn't easy. No. But you didn't know there was a statue of Jesus Christ no, I have no in the idea. Florida Keys. I had no idea. Man, I'm horrible about you this You want game. a new stack here? No, I'm going to stick with the ones I got here. Um, here we go. I need glasses for this game. Cambridge, Massachusetts is the home to Winch Ivy League University. Ooh. Cambridge, Massachusetts is the home to Winch Ivy League. Remember that keyword? It's an Ivy League university institution. Isn't it Cambridge University? <sighs> nope. No, it's Harvard. Harvard is in Massachusetts? According to this little card here, it I is. I had no idea. Cambridge, Massachusetts is the home of Harvard. Yeah, look at all the people saying Harvard. Everyone's so much smarter than me. You guys are a lot smarter than we are. Okay, you ready? When it comes to, yeah, knowing the Americas. Yes, please. Harvard University. I feel knows. bad because you're not going to know this. Well, then give me one that I might know. Just say it. Just what is it? The Corn Palace is located in which state? Please tell me it's Iowa. No. The Corn Palace is not in Iowa? No. What other state grows corn? Illinois? A lot of places grow corn, but... <laughs> Kansas. No. Illinois. Everyone's saying Iowa, Jamie. Tell me it's Iowa. It's not Iowa. Kansas, it's not Kansas. It's not Iowa. Nebraska? Guys, it's not Illinois, she said. It's not Kansas. What is it? South Dakota. South. No one grows corn in South Dakota. They do grow corn, corn. in South Dakota. Okay, okay. Someone said, well, here comes. There's a lot of people saying South Dakota. It is the Corn Palace. Whatever the hell the Corn Palace is. I've heard of a an ice hotel. I don't think it's in Antarctica either, but it's an actual ice what hotel. What is the Corn Palace? What is the Corn Palace? We're going to have to Google that later and see. It's not an actual palace because no one's going to live there. because It's, it's not probably gonna... like a... It's just a bunch of corn. They just call it the Corn Palace. I was thinking it's probably like a state, like a the name of a stadium or something. Oh, I don't think so. Well, I but I know, know it's not a real palace. But it's got to go on our bucket list of places to visit now, for the record. We ain't pulling the RV to South Dakota. Why not? Is that where all those statues are to all the presidents on the mountains? Yes. Over there? Eh, I guess I might would go there, but could we just like fly and stay in a motel? <laughs> that RV is heavy. The Corn Palace is a building that has paintings of corn. Uh, are you serious? It's made of corn cobs. Y'all are messing with this right now. They are messing with this. It's not made of corn cobs, y'all. The front of it has a design made of corn. It says. Yeah, people are just messing with this. It's saying it's about corn. corn. <laughs> I doubt it's made of corn cobs. Turn to ask me. Okay, it's my turn to earn another star here. You can try. The ice hotel is in Norway. Norway. Okay, here we go. Going back to Massachusetts. Why? Why are we so stuck on that state? What is the st official state dessert of Massachusetts? This is easy. The official dessert of Massachusetts. And can we ask me some Texas questions next time? <laughs> I haven't found Texas yet. Someone says, what's on Jamie's head? They don't know what's going on. <laughs> She's got stars. I'm winning, okay? And I'm going to shout it for the world. The official dessert of Massachusetts. Is it Boston cream pie? Yes. Give me a star. Oh, my God. You're showing off now. She's just showing off, everybody. She's showing Let's off. Hope it that is. These don't leave red stars. <laughs> Legit red stars on my forehead. Though. It is Boston cream pie. A lot of you guys got that right. And are you sure you're not cheating? I swear. Because I can't see that small. All right. I can't read that fast. You better either. get this one. You ready? The cherry orchard is a vacant lot full of different types of chairs 
located in which southern state? The what? Cherry. C-H-A-I-R-Y. Cherry, like cherry orchard. And it's a vacant lot full of chairs. Wait, how would I know that? Huh? How would I how would I even know that? You should know it. Okay, the cherry orchard. And it's in a southern state? Yeah. Not cherry like the fruit. Okay, so I'm, I have to get that off my head. So there's a vacant lot, and it's full of chairs. Yeah. And they call it Cherry Orchard. Yeah. Do people go there and sit in them chairs? I don't know, but now it's on my list of things I want to see. Okay, so I'm the only southern state I know anything about is Texas, and it can't be Texas. So I don't I want to cheat and look at these people's. Are, are they only getting it right over here? They are? I don't know. Texas? <laughs> All I know is this is also a bucket list place now. Hold on. You knew about this? No, I didn't know about it, but I want to go. The Cherry Orchard. Road trip. Is a... I wonder what city it's in. I don't know. Someone has to be able to look that up for us. Okay, well, if it's in Texas, we will drive there. Is it? Do we pass a Bucky's? If we pass a Bucky's, we will drive there. I've never heard of this. It's Denton. in Denton. Oh, we that's a drive right, Dallas. to Denton. We can drive to Denton. Look at this over here. Hold on, I got to show you all something. Isn't that the coolest thumbnail? The little emoji for the person's name, Little Bull. That's awesome. That's beautiful. All right, so it's in Denton, Texas. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have your phone on you to show yes, us a sir. picture of it? No? no but I it's okay. It. It's not really a big deal, Jamie. Uh, did I get a star? It's closing June 18th. Ah, no. We got to put the rush on it. Why is it closing already? We ain't even got a chance to visit yet. Sheesh. <laughs> you got to ask me a question. It's now. our bucket list. I'm so happy you got a star. I know. I should put mine on my my my. Yeah, right there. That's better. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of forehead here in a second. Yeah. So. Okay. Here we go. All right. In which state can you venture into the Cadillac of Mines to address the deepest point you can go in the entire United States? So it's the deepest mine that you can travel to in the United States. In which state is that mine? There's no way you would ever know this. I'm going to say West Virginia. You're saying West Virginia. I'm seeing a lot of people over here say Kentucky, Virginia, a lot of, a lot of Kentuckys. Actually, oh, it's actually Minnesota. Chris McKenzie no got that one right. It's Minnesota. It says it right there, Minnesota. I didn't know that. I didn't know there were mines in Minnesota. I didn't either. I thought Minnesota had a lot of lakes. How can you have mines That's why they have when you have in. lakes? That's why they have lakes. That's why you have lakes. Yeah, they've mined it. That Really? That's why there's lakes are there because they, people have mined and the ground is allowed for lakes. You're making that up. No. Really? I had no idea. Hmm. Somebody says this is really hard trivia. This is, it is hard trivia, but it's, I think I'm, I'm learning a lot. Apparently the chair place closed in 2023. Oh, it already closed. Tragic. Check, Man. Take that off the list of travels. We're back to South Dakota. Thank the, God you told us before to we the drove corn there. Place. <laughs> What's All my right. question? Which state is the only one to have its own power grid? If you get this wrong, less tomorrow. Okay. The only, the, the only state. To have its own power grid. With its very own power grid. Meaning that when all the rest of us are in the dark, this state will still be able to go. Okay. So for some reason, I'm looking at you. I'm not looking at the computer. I'm looking at you through the computer. I want to say California. I kind of want to say Nevada because of the Hoover Dam. Am I anywhere, anywhere near? Her face is not giving me any hints at all. Her face is not giving me any hints at all. So I will say that Texas is known for producing a lot of energy. I'm still looking at her face. You're not telling me anything. Texas is known for our production of energy. California, I think, is known for 
Oh, I'm not looking. I promise. I swear I can never, I cannot see that small and I could never read that fast. Um, Rebecca says, Lester Eugene Morrow. Lester Eugene Morrow Jr. <laughs> can I say Texas? It's Texas. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Text and the reason that I knew that answer was from 2021 when the power grid went down and we, we couldn't still get had power. help. Well, we couldn't get the state couldn't get help from anywhere else because the grid was just here. So other wow. states are connected in that sense. But yeah, Texas has its own power grid. It's the only state like that. So I knew that we were you get a star now, sir. <laughs> Jamie, look who's catching up. Do I look like that little cheesecake girl? Not cheesecake, strawberry, Debbie, strawberry, oh, strawberry shortcake. shortcake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, someone says, I'm just guessing Texas on everything. <laughs> Wendy, I am too. Actually, I'm going to shuffle. Both of mine are correct that I that were with Texas, and I just guessed on I'm both of them. I'm shuffling the cards. I have to pull out the bottom of when we redid them. You okay. Ask me now. It's my turn. It's my turn to win a star. I'm just reading uh, some of the comments that are going by so fast. Lester, you look gross like that. Um, well, I think it's cute. I don't know how this is gross. It's just little stars on my cheeks. Um, listen, um, so Texas and power. I'm trying to remember this so I can teach teach someone later. And Texas and the chair museum. Not but a museum. But the chair place is the cherry orchard down, is closed. The cherry orchard. All right, here we go. Next question for you, Jamie Cakes. What I've learned is you know nothing about Massachusetts. You should be ashamed of yourself. I feel, you need, really, you need, I feel really uneducated about You need to learn about Massachusetts, Jamie. I would really like a new state, please. All right. Michigan's. <laughs> Why do I have to have Michigan and Massachusetts? I need the glasses. I'm oh sorry. Oh, my God. I need glasses for this. You're going to be there one day, too. Michigan's border touches every single Great Lake except for one. Which Great Lake does Michigan not touch? Oh, ho, 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 ho. which Great Lake does Michigan not touch? In the uh, comments, people are all over the place. You know your Great Lakes, but you don't know exactly which one Michigan does not touch. I don't know. You don't I'm know? I'm going to say... Do you know all the five of the Great Lakes? All, all five of the Great Lakes? There's Michigan, Ontario, Erie. So you can eliminate which one? Well, Michigan. So you can el eliminate Michigan. Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking geography-wise, like the Upper Peninsula is in Lake Michigan. I'm so going to say Erie. I, she's not, I'm going to say Erie. Yeah, so you can look over here and you can see that even though people are saying all the different ones, there's no way you could uh -huh. ever cheat from that because no one knows. It's actually Lake Ontario. Really? It's Ontario. Huh. Am I saying that right? Ontario? Ontario, Ontario. Oh, yeah. Either one. So, I was torn between Ontario and Erie. And um, that's, that's the truth. So that's... I would have. I had, learned I something would, new. I know the five the, the five lakes. I yeah. don't know exactly which is which as far as who they touch and who they border. All right, so no star for you. However, I do have two. In which eastern state can you find Bethlehem, the Christmas city? East is okay. East Bethlehem, the city. I don't know, but this is going to be crazy. But is a solar eclipse going to touch it? Yeah. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Is going to pass right over it? Yeah. Because that's freaking me out. Can we stop playing this game now and talk about the solar <laughs> no, eclipse? Because now I'm now I'm freaked out with the solar no, eclipse. We cannot stop. My mind just shifted to the solar eclipse. You can talk about that at lunch with Lester. <laughs> Wait, you don't want to talk solar eclipse? Oh, I'm gonna talk about it on time on Tuesday. Oh. Um, okay, so tell me the ask, ask me the question again. In which eastern state can you find Bethlehem, the Christmas city? So it's a Christmas city, and it's in an eastern state. Uh, and it's called Bethlehem because of the Christmas story, and they named their town Bethlehem, um, Pennsylvania. How the hell did you know that? And did you just got a third star? Where are you going to stick that sucker? On my nose, obviously. <laughs> I got it right with Pennsylvania. I mean, I, I knew it couldn't be New York. It's not Maine. Oh, well, I guess that's not going to stick there. All right, we'll go ahead. Look at the score now, friends. Look at the score now, three to three. Going. Let's ask another Massachusetts or Michigan question. Well, I hope you know your subways because it says the U.S. is the United States' first subway system 
was built in which state? New York. Are you sticking with New York? Because <laughs> look at the answer. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> my, my answer for everything would be Massachusetts. This must be the Massachusetts collection here. The M, it's the M box or something. Seriously, it's Massachusetts, y'all. We're not making this up. Get a new stack. <laughs> All right, we're ask going to the new, the new stack. stack. All right, here we go. No, wait, First I, question. no, it's me. It's my turn to ask you now. You get another chance to win. Okay. The underground vaults of Fort Knox in Kentucky are said to be holding, holding over $6 billion worth of what? Texas! Texas! <laughs> no? Okay, it holds $6 billion worth of something? Yeah. Gold. Yeah. I can't. That was easy. I mean, it has to be gold. It is gold. What Give else could it be? another star there, Mario. Oil? It has to be gold. Oh, my God, Jamie, looky here. If I get one more, I win it all. If I get one more, I can win it all. If you ask me a Massachusetts or a Michigan question, just move on. Okay, this is a different stack. Here's the question. What is the street address of the White House? What is the actual physical street address of the White House? Is it 100 Pennsylvania Avenue? So you got the street right. You got to get the number correct. Think really hard about movies that we've watched. I don't know the number. There was really? a there was a movie with Denzel Washington that was titled this. I'm I may be wrong. I don't know it. It's sixteen hundred. Don't you read that didn't ring any bells to you? Yeah. Sixteen hundred. Sorry, Jamie. No star. Okay, it might be time for me to get my fifth and final. If I could win this thing, and that would be a major comeback. Uh, Hold on a minute. Whoa, are you? In which state can you find Transylvania County? Actually, Pennsylvania. No. Ah, I knew this one. Where? North Carolina. North Carolina. All right. So everyone knows I'm not cheating. I'm going for the top card. Here we go. I should just leave my glasses on the whole I time. I don't know why you keep taking them off there. Okay. Which state does John Denver mention in his opening line of, she knows this, take me home. Country road. Y'all, there's no way. West Virginia. <sighs> Start up. <laughs> oh, no, we're tied. We are tied. I would have gotten that one right. And I don't even know all the songs that you do. <laughs> Take me home down country road. Country road. Take me home. You ready for this? To the place I belong. West Virginia. Mount Mama, Mount Mama. Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. Take me home down country road. Okay. All right, for the win, for the win. Decorated with large scale metal sculptures. In which state can you drive along the Enchanted Highway? Also, bucket list item. So it's called the Enchanted Highway and it's decorated with metal sculptures. Yep. And there's a state that you can drive along. Is it like along somewhere around Route 66? I don't know. Would it be Nevada? No. Dang it. Where? North Dakota. North Dakota. We're not taking the RV there either. Come on. No, we're not doing that. That's a long haul, Jamie. And? A lot of people knew that. Here we go. Ooh. Sorry. Back to Massachusetts. But it's easy. In which Massachusetts town can you find the witch house? If you get this one over here wrong, you're going to win it all right here. The witch house? Yes, the witch house in Massachusetts. You cannot get this one over here wrong. Is it Salem? It is Salem. You get the five stars. You win it all. Congratulations. <laughs> However, how, oh, no. how crazy was that that a lot of years were around Massachusetts? You really are done? We can't keep playing this game this the entire fun. night. No, we're not going to keep playing this game the entire night. Can I ask you one more question? You're going to ask me one more for the tie. What this Hall of Fame can you find in Oklahoma City? Okay, which Hall of Fame can you find in Oklahoma City? I'm going to have to say, so Oklahoma City has no football team. Besides, that's in Canton, Ohio, the Hall of Fame for the NFL. I don't think I've ever heard of any Oklahoma baseball. I think Oklahoma is the kind of state that probably only has one major sport. 
which is basketball. So I'm going to say basketball. Oh, my God. The National Cowboy Hall of Fame. Also, bucket list. Oh, yeah. Well, I was thinking about like a like a, a ball sport. Yeah. Cow, they have a lot of cowboys there. They sure do. Darn it. All right. Well, guess what, y'all? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Jamie won. You can talk about the eclipse now. No, I don't really know what to say about the eclipse besides it would be nice if everyone was just going to say, hey, everyone needs to go get them a pair of eclipse goggles because we have an eclipse coming. But no, you don't see that anywhere. Instead, you have everyone else screaming that, oh, my God, the eclipse is going to go through seven cities with the name of Nivea, which I guess is a biblical city. And last eclipse went through seven cities with, with the name of something else. You remember the name of the other and now they're all going to the the two eclipses from a few years back and this one are all going to they're going to come to this exact same spot and it's like 30 miles from where i'm from and, and there there is a there's a lot like of a, things brewing <laughs> around about it and it is there's there's a lot of conspiracy theories and if you are in that mindset like i am i certainly read into it and think about all the things but i mean in reality they're expecting a, a very large amount of people in very small places that aren't used to accommodating large amounts of people that happened last time too yeah uh now i remember uh y2k if anyone is my age they will remember y2k you were probably too young i was not too young in fact we had a party at school on the the nines day, which was September 9th of 1999. Uh -huh. And like everybody dressed up for that because it was like the last big deal. And then the next thing was the Y2K when the, we thought the world was going to Yeah, just the stop. world's going to end. And because computers can't read the dates, so that's going to shut down the entire world. We were all doomed. But you don't know the fear that that put into me. I lived in fear. Did you really? I lived in fear of what was going to happen with Y2K. I hate the way that People like to, and maybe it's like going to see a horror movie. Now think about it for a minute. Just, just, just hear me out on this one. People go to see horror movies, even though it's going to terrify them. It's going to terrify them. Not only while they're watching the movie, but when they get home, as they're walking to their car, when they hear a noise, a creak across the floor, yet they still go watch these horror movies because some people like that feeling, the thrill of being scared, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that those same kind of people enjoy putting out conspiracy theories like the end of the world is going to happen because of the Mayan calendar. Remember that? And the end of the world, Y2K is going to be, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And so uh, you can't help but because of social media, we hear all of these things. You can't avoid it. If you watch social media, you can't avoid it. And then you end up being fearful and scared and living in fear and not able to sleep and all the things that go along with that. And it may be a thrill for you. You may get me so thrilled about this. It's not thrilled. It's the, for me, it's the ability, I guess, because I have the ability to think about possibilities. And when I, I feel safer thinking of every possibility that I personally can, or, or at least hearing and the way that other people think, because it makes me think differently to it, it sort of opens my mind up to have situational awareness. Actually, what's funny is I was telling Lester, we've been watching a few shows on um, past big events in the U.S., negative events. And how when we went to the rodeo with the boys, he kept saying, like, what's wrong with you? Why are you so? Why this is true. This is true. Why, what are you, why are you so distracted? Why are you I accused her of having a boyfriend. He did. I accused her of having a side piece. <laughs> He's like, what is wrong with you? You're like, she not was even so distracted at the rodeo. Me and the kids are having the best time. And Jamie was just, she was like, her eyes were wide and she's looking left and looking right. And just, she it was just so crowded. Fidgeting. And I'm like, what are you doing? What, what's, what's going on with you? What's wrong with you? Get, snap to it, Jamie. Come on. It's a family event. And she could not. And I'm thinking, she got her a side piece. She didn't found her a side piece. No, I was <laughs> so nervous because of how crowded of a place it was and how easy a target of a place would be with that many people. And to be just conscious of who's around me, who's doing what. And like my mind goes into overdrive in large crowds like that because I'm 
first of all, always looking for the way out. Like I'm always paying attention to my situation. Of if we needed to leave, what's the fastest exit from here? And what is everyone else around me doing? And there's kids running under your legs. And it was so packed that you couldn't walk. You literally could not walk. And that's not in the physical rodeo. That was out in the carnival space. Yeah. So you have our kids bouncing balls, other kids bouncing balls. There's stuffed animals flopping in front of you, kids sloshing around snow cones and all this other stuff. Babies crying. You you picture every horror situation you might have ever been in. But talk I about was, scary movies. You don't need to picture a scary movie. You go to that rodeo carnival and that's scary. But I was so hyper aware of all of these things happening around me. I mean, Texas is a open carry place as well. And as much as they do have metal detectors to get into it, it's still a very large space and people can walk right in anywhere and do. And yeah. I don't know. I just have this. I have great fears about when very large crowds are crowded together that someone is going to take advantage of that situation. Yeah. So I was on like hyper alert and he was so mad at me okay i just want you to enjoy the moment and i was i was trying to enjoy the moment with the kiddos and i felt like you weren't enjoying it because your mind was somewhere else and i'm like who are you thinking about jamie what's so special about him huh look what you got right here in front of you jamie look what you got right here look at me look at me look look at me he's like <laughs> why didn't you video that why didn't you video what we just did and i'm like i did not do all that y'all i was you. like i'm just i'm just I'm just paying attention, you know, like, so I've, it was a, that was a rough, but, but the first trip when it was just he and I, the crowds were nothing that time because it wasn't spring break. Kids were not at school. We also went on a day that we didn't know was free entry yeah. to the carnival space. Yeah. So it was the busiest day of the whole rodeo that, and the day we took Lex and, or Lex and Ellie. And it was just night and day different. So his experience with me the previous week was like relaxed and chill because we were True. just about the only people there that night. Yeah. And then to go here where there were like, yeah, we will, we will never people. do that again. Never because the traffic was horrendous and then the crowds and it was just, it was a really dangerous situation. And I don't guess there's any way that they could limit how many people come in that place because they have no idea how many are coming in. You don't yeah. have to buy a ticket. You just come on in. It's free. No ticket required. And it it had too many people for safety. It really it, did. It, it did. It had and too it many people me, for safety. It made me on red alert. And so. And what, I don't know if everyone, uh, if anyone's watched the video that we made, but we had to even park. We should have known from the parking that we were asking for trouble. But at that point, we'd already had both kids loaded up. We bought tickets like yeah we bought our rodeo tickets and uh man yeah we will not do that again so we i never will. even told him like i didn't want to like make him hyper aware and and nervous about the situation either during that and and i also i probably wasn't very good at verbalizing what was going on inside of me i just was like eyes wide open type of scenario and then i guess it was this weekend when i i like we were watching something and and he goes oh all, he goes, that makes me so nervous to go to all of those big crowds. He's like, even the rodeo we were at. And I was like, yes, that's exactly what I was doing. I was so nervous. Yeah. Well, you just picture people in the world who want to do us harm. That's their, that's what they look for are large crowds where they can do inflict the most damage and where there's not enough security, obviously to stop before they can do inflict what they wanted to do. And so, yeah, I think that they should really consider that. I even heard, you don't even know about this. I watched the news and even in Moscow, they had a concert with uh, a very large concert in Russia. And it was uh, horrible things happened there. Someone's saying yes in Moscow. So it's just really sad what's happening around the world uh, in, in gatherings of large crowds. We know what happened in Israel with the concert. Um, Wasn't there a rodeo or a concert or a festival in, in Houston that people got trampled and killed at as well? That was a rap. That was that the Houston rodeo last year. I no, that couldn't years, have been a rodeo. Two years ago. That wasn't the rodeo though. The rodeo. Well, I, I, I think don't it was. think it was the rodeo. We would have heard about that, but there was a concert that um, they didn't have enough security at. And there were so many people that were rushing towards the stage and they ended up trampling at Astro World. It was yeah, yeah. Astrodome concert, a rap concert, Travis Scott. The Travis concert. Scott concert, yeah. So it can happen. I guess I had all of that in my head, and realizing that we could, you couldn't walk, 
And it was worse than being in any club or anywhere else where like there was just no room for anyone. Yep. And well, well, lesson learned for us on that. Yeah, we will absolutely not put ourselves in that situation again. No, but agreed. All right. Well, what else you got? We got ready to wrap this thing up. There's some neat videos coming out this week from both of us. I, I overheard you editing. Well, my neatest video may have happened today that I did put on Facebook, but I will take it to YouTube um, soon. And um, I took the dogs for a ride. I did. I took the dogs for a ride. Uh, however, it was not the normal ride where they all get into the big truck. We took a ride in Jamie's mini truck and it was really cute and it was fun and it was so uncomfortable, <laughs> but, uh, I think it has to become your new routine though. I think you're going to have to make a lap around the lake. Taylor Lake. I could do that. I think that they would love that. It was fun. And so I'll be playing that on YouTube in the next couple of days. I have a long version and a short version, and I can't talk about that now because Jamie says no business talk tonight. We but ain't talking I, business on Sunday. I did play my short version on Facebook, and I'll get my long version out on YouTube in the next couple of days. So <laughs> I, think I ain't be, talking no business, Jamie. We ain't talking business good. on Sunday. It's a day of rest. I can rest. tell you that after I watched the video, I'm like, oh, we need to clean out the mini truck because I haven't, I haven't been in the back seat of the mini truck or anything. It's been a collector. Well, I will say this: the back of the. So first of all, the mini truck still has the seat protectors on there well yeah you keep those on until they wear off they're wore off trust me they are wore off that plastic is so brittle it got melted it's last chipping year. it's yeah. chipping the plastic is chipping what does that tell you not tearing it not up. stretching well, you know that it's it chipping was in the it was in parked in the greenhouse last time i remember, I remember that that's whenever things went bad yes uh so yeah that is time to pull off the uh plasticky seat covers but I will say this, um, and I've debated this back and forth. Jamie, for my birthday coming up, wants to get my truck detailed. And, uh, you know, I've had the truck for over a year, and I've never had it detailed. Never. I've washed it myself a few times. I've kind of semi-straightened it up, but it's never been detailed. And she wants to find somebody who will detail the truck. And I says, Jamie, I don't think that's a good idea. I would love to see my truck clean again and smell good again. She's driven it a few times. She's had to take my truck for plants and materials. Super important. And uh, every time she gets in it, she complains of how dirty it is. And it is. It's a dirty truck. It's a farm truck. Though. They're was, like, I thought Ben cleans the truck. Ben, 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 will, ben will wash the outside. Ben is not the inside. Ben does not do the inside. And if Ben puts a vacuum to it, that's just surface dirt that's not trust me he's not cleaned a windshield or, or dusted anything off the dash but no i mean a actual like a detail, detail. If you've never had a, like a detail is expensive it's not something you do all the time no no i've it's never like, had it done it's like getting the getting like a like a toothpick in between all the little letters and the things and like it's it's pretty intricate they'll shampoo your carpets they'll they'll get every little grit out of there so I, I would like to see my truck that clean again, but the problem is the dogs like to ride with me wherever where I go. They want to be with me, and they're such great riding companions. Not all dogs can ride in I was the like, truck. But I'm a good riding companion. No, you're you're good, but the dogs are just you're good, Jamie. But the dogs are just really great. Well, they don't argue back, Jamie. <laughs> I'm playing. The dogs love me unconditionally. I don't, I'm just messing with her, y'all. I'm messing with her. I'm messing with her. Off this chair. I know you are. But so listen, so someone just says, Lester, just get seat covers. I have seat covers. And there's so much hair and stuff that floats around that it finds its way all over the truck. And so I kind of don't want her to waste her money on that, even though it would be a beautiful and a wonderful gift to see my truck really cleaned again. Armor all, tire shiny. Wow. And the inside is going to smell good. But I do know that the first time me and the girls go anywhere, it's going to ruin everything because they're, they, you know, they're dogs, y'all. And even though they're clean dogs, they're not, they don't, they dogs. still shed their hair. Yeah. So I don't know. But um, neat videos coming up this week. I know a ton of your things that you recorded this week. I've got a few things as well that I, I went on an exciting. adventure, a solo adventure yesterday with no plan. So that's, that's on there. Um, I, I know that you had some fun things happen last night at 
J and L. And then I also know that there's a few, few things that I overheard that I was laughing at in the distance as you were editing as well. Okay. Well, we look forward to hanging out with you guys throughout the week. Um, and like, uh, Jamie said earlier, we will be doing more lives than normal. And that's because we are enjoying this and we're being encouraged to do this. So even though we love going live, I know that a lot of you guys get annoyed easily by seeing someone, anything too much. You don't want to have too much because too much can ruin a good thing. How do I say that the right way? You can, you can pick and choose what you want to watch. Yeah. Pick and choose, pick and choose. You don't, pick have, and to, choose. You don't have to always be in the mood for some Jamie and Lester. You can just be like, eh, not today. I'm not going to watch them today. Yeah. It's going to be fine. Anywho. So it's, it's going to be a busy week around here. You've got stuff going on at JNL. I have work. I do have uh, two. Oh, I have two girls things this week as well. So it's, there's going to be lots of fun happening. A sweet commenter says, just pay Lex to detail your truck. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's like, no, no, that's not what uh, Lex will do. Some it's chores. It's like deep cleaning your house. I don't, you got to do it I don't, like once a year. I don't think anyone knows exactly how dirty the truck can be. Maybe I should make a video about that. I would just be too embarrassed to show anybody. When I lift my seat up, you don't know how much accumulates under there. Here's the thing. I took it last week and I was like, uh, I was each, I bought a pack of, wa of wipes. Because, you know, when you're sitting at a stoplight, it's very easy to just like wipe some stuff off. Yeah. After the fifth wipe and I hadn't made it outside of the little, <laughs> this part between the steering wheel, I was like, hmm, this needs more than wipes. <laughs> yeah. But it's not your, I don't want you to think, unless you're not dirty. It's not, I, I, it's I not, think I'm, I'm think I'm a very clean man. I, I think that are. for the most part, me personally, I'm, I'm clean. I, I would be on the clean side over. I would be more clean to where I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Why are you looking at me? Because I'm worried about saying this. I, I, I'm i going to go ahead and say this, and I'm worried about saying it. Go ahead and grab onto my arm now. Go ahead. Show them what you do. Show them what you do. I am so independently clean or able to clean after myself that I don't need nobody to clean for me. I don't need anybody to clean for me. Oh. I just like it when you do. I'm just not I like clean it when you do. Then. This sounds like an exit from the cleaning <laughs> duties, doesn't it, to y'all? Doesn't that mean that Jamie is no longer responsible for? Well, hey, careful, the careful! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Rubbing of toilets and <laughs> bathtubs. I do shower with Dawn soap. Christina reminds everybody. Yes, I do. No, but what I'm saying is, a lot of y'all, and listen, I mean y'all as far as the ladies go. Men, don't hold this against me, but it's true. A lot of ladies feel like. All their husband wanted was a replacement for their mom, for the husband's mom. A lot of women feel like all their a lot their of people say that I just don't need to clean anymore. It's all of a sudden yours. And so I'll mow. I just want you to <laughs> hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think so. That mower requires my special touch. Oh, does it? The same way your Teflon on your pots and pans are, at, are an off limits to me. All right. I know. I know, because if we were up to you, you would be microwaving us Frito pie every night. <laughs> oh, Lordy. What I'm trying to say is, let me get myself out of this one before it gets mm -hmm. any worse. I can't. Yeah. Let's hear how you're going to What get I'm out trying to say is, I think that you're, I think that, I think that I, I'm blessed in the <laughs> fact that my, that, <laughs> that I could take care of you. I could take care of you as far as, Cooking, cleaning, washing, folding. I have a challenge. All of those things. Let's trade spaces for a day this week. Okay. Now, where so, are we going? Hold on. So, that includes all of each other's duties. That means you're going to go to the JL. Uh -huh. You're going to move the feed buggy back and forth. Uh -huh. You're going to do that without me being there. Yeah. Using the tractor and you're or the truck. Going, whatever. <laughs> and you're going you're taking the girls with you. Yeah, I'll take you're, the you're girls. gonna lift up and carry Stella to yeah, the truck in and out. Absolutely she can't climb on yes. her own. And you're going to cook, clean, do laundry, grocery shop, make sure you put in a solid eight hours with work, take hold care on, of okay. the garden, so, take care on. of the so horses. If I do grocery shopping then the way you do it, that means you're gonna stop at Walmart and pick up the order on the way home. That's fine. <laughs> This is, I shake my hand because this is going to happen. We're trading no, spaces no, this week. Let's not do that. 
Not this week. Well, let, let, well, me, come let, on. Let, let me prep for all. Let me prep a little bit and think about this challenge before we make the make that deal. Yo. <laughs> we are challenging. Tread lightly, Lester. Yes, absolutely. I better because I, I challenge you to squeeze in oh my, gosh, Jamie, my day no, into I, yours. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. I did not mean to say that you don't do uh how uh uh oh. I did not mean to say that you don't work enough around here. You work double what most, what I do easily. <sighs> that didn't help at all, did it? Mm -mm. You, no. this place would not be the same without you. Is that better? Mm -mm. No, you've already <laughs> said it on a live video. It's here forever. Um, You're going to have to take on a Jamie day. <sighs> don't forget. Don't forget that. that I'm just I, looking around at all I need to claim. <laughs> yeah. It's and don't lot. forget, you got to clean it, JL, whenever we walk in the door there, Okay, too. okay, okay, okay. I have done messed up, haven't I? I done messed up. Boy, I done messed up the, today. I have done messed up. I don't even but know. Hey, I'll mow the grass. It's See? fine. See, the devil got into me. That's the devil got into me and made me say that, Jamie. Anyway, as we leave the live, I want to play that video again uh, with the merch video. And really, seriously, if you would like to send us a picture of you or your pets or your kiddos or whatever with our merch, we would be more than happy to add that to our video. Yes. Mm -hmm. He can do it when he's, you know, done digging his own hole. Yes. I'll do that after I finish cleaning, which <laughs> he's about to prove all of his stuff right now. Cause I bet you right now, if we walk in that bedroom with this computer, that the drawer that you sought this t-shirt oh, from no. is open. And that all of the shirts that weren't no, the shirt no, are laying don't. on top of the dresser. No, <laughs> no, Lordy, I'm in trouble. Hey, listen, you can find the message where to get a hold of us on the Longhorn Lester channel, guys. It's a WhatsApp is one way we communicate on Messenger is how we communicate on emails. The easiest way to communicate. Oh, Lord, there's a ways. Anyway, I we love you. Huh? I love you and I love you. I love all y'all. Please. Pray for me. Just pray for me. He's going to need it. As you, yeah, as you start ready to log off, just say your prayers for me, please. I could use all the prayers I can get. Yeah.